Hello everyone! Today I'll be talking about interpreting the intent and meaning in artwork, or otherwise known as 7-8BR.08 in the Massachusetts Curriculum Standards. So what we're going to be interpreting today is a local artist by the name of Bill Kosafi who operates outside of Salem and his artwork is heavily influenced by the occultism folklore and magic that is in the history and roots of Salem with a touch of humor in it. So to go into a little bit of that, we need a little background of the history of Salem, which goes into 1692. So really quick, they were Calvinists. Girls were not placed of value in the household and were given a lot of tension around this time if they had stories about other women who were possibly witches. So that ties into a lot of the attention that the girls got when they accused Tichuba to um, begin with and then other women as they went on. There was no real government going on at that point. The King of England had revoked a lot of government, so it was kind of fast and loose. So really rich people took the positions and became officials and did what they wanted, which was to accuse other rich people of witchcraft so that they could try to steal their land from them. On top of all of that, um, they think that there was moldy bread or moldy yeast around that time, so people were hallucinating, so it was kind of a group panic. So you know a little bit about Salem, so we can start diving into the artwork. First piece that we're going to look at right here is called The Witching Hour. So we can assume here from interpreting what our context clues are, this is the horizon line, obviously the floor. And we see a woman floating above it. Now, we could jump into maybe she's hanging. However, we have some context clues indicating she is levitating. We see the symbol, the black cat, which in is indicative of witchcraft and symbol of magic. We also see that she's in her own home, her own space, and not hanging from a tree or a tree branch. So we can point to the assumption that she is floating by getting in touch with the devil or occultism or magic or what have you. So we can assume that this woman is in the witching next piece is a little on the nose this one is called the cat lady by bill krasafi i actually have this piece in my home so this is a assumingly a witch with her cats around her and another thing to know about witch folklore is that they have minions and minions being these cats and some of the accused were accused of having invisible or very visible creatures around them and they were their eyes and ears of the devil and them so that they can place spells curses and general mischief upon the public particularly children so this witch is surrounded by her minions which were the minions of the devil as you can see bill krasafi is heavily influenced by salem's dark past but adds a lot of light and humor to it brings out that magic that we really know about and love about salem so i would like to hear your interpretations of the cat lady and the witching hour. The witching hour being the woman floating above the floor. Possibly you might see something else. And the cat lady surrounded by her minions. Maybe you might see something else. And I would really like to hear your theories.